Not me. Who's this home home gang guy? I'm, I'm oh. flying an inferno around. Oh, dude, watch me fucking hit this guy with the torpedo. Oh, please let me hit him with the torpedo. He almost got hit by it. Oh, I got him! <laughs> I got him! Desync. So the trick with the ward and, and any vanguard in general is like a good pilot like Snyder is not going to let me get behind them. So you can't really fight the warden like in the way that you might think like you know get close to it right. If you are going to get close to it you want to do it for a little bit of time like this. You want to S turn your way around him. Because look, any yeah, see there we go, right? I can't get behind him because he's gonna he put a back strafe. He's gonna fight inside the bubble. He's gonna do everything he can, and if I do get behind him, it's not gonna be for long, right? So I need to be very careful with how I manage my way around the vanguard, right? You can see how big of a difference fighting a vanguard with a good pilot compared to fighting a vanguard that's just flown by, I guess, your average persistent universe. Uh, pilot, right? So now I can drop some ballistics on him. Because his shields are almost down. But look at that. My shields are already down on that, on that one little burst. Because I made one bad turn. And it's basically almost game over for me already. There. I might be able to get him here. You can see how many ballistic bullets it takes. So I, I've gone ballistic stride just on one guy. There we go. Who else is shooting at me? Hammerhead. All right, welcome back everybody to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about kind of strategies and things to understand when it comes to fighting uh, an expert or ace level heavy fighter pilot so schneider right now is running um op four or running our duel here and i want to show when the vanguard is piloted by someone who really knows what they're doing you're going to really see a big difference in the way you have to fight the heavy fighters and this is how kind of like how we were talking about with yesterday's video less is more so you'll see I'm doing a bit of a wave pattern here. I'm just kind of rocking my wings back and forth. And then I go into a bit of a corkscrew here. Again, with my bottom thrusters pushing up to get myself level with him. And then once I've made myself level, you can see I'm starting to pull a nice tight corkscrew. Start to do my S patterns. Dance across his nose to the left. Switch, dance across his nose to the right. As soon as I reach the end of that cone, dance across his nose to the other side again. And I'm continuously staying in front of him as I slowly keep working my way towards him. Now, Schneider's smart. He knows that once I get within that 200 meter cone, I'm going to want to try and get behind him. So he's skilled enough to understand his position is in a disadvantageous spot. <laughs> disadvantageous spot. And so as soon as I get a position on him like I do here, he's going to create some distance with his main thrusters. And he's going to once again force himself in a nose to nose fight. And we reset the fight. Now, you can classify that maneuver there as, an, as what's called a maneuvering win. That doesn't give us the kill, but it allows us to put target time on him, whereas he doesn't have target time on us. So every second we gain on that is a, is a big, big bonus to us because we're not taking any threat. So again, right, I'm slowly trying to work on position. I've got the sun in my eyes, so it sometimes is a little difficult to stay on target. And again, right, less is more. I'm not over rolling. I'm not creating so much deflection that it becomes easy for me to actually see where I'm going. I'm just rocking back and forth enough so that I'm just almost getting hit. And if you can kind of get it again, right here, we've got position again. It's the same thing, right? Like we're going to close the distance on this Vanguard for a third time, right? We're going to slowly walk ourselves in. We're going to keep our vector nice and close to his so that we're not creating too much deflection and sliding out of the turns. You'll see my little indicator there dances up on my screen. We've taken a few hits because we crossed his line of fire and it doesn't take much with that size one shield on the arrow to get absolutely decimated. So the Vanguard will easily, easily be able to hose us down in, in a single laser charge. So we got to be very careful. And again, right? Same process. Walking slowly towards my target, corkscrewing in, making my S patterns as I slowly get the distance. 
And once I've gained the distance, I want to try and shoot in, you know, like shooting in for underhooks if you're doing jujitsu and stuff. It's like uh, you're trying to get that dominant position. You're trying to get on top or, or behind. You're trying to get into a position where he is unable to shoot at you. And as soon as he realizes, like right here, I've won the turn battle. I'm now in a position where he can't hit me and I can hit him. His only option is to disengage in a sense, like create the distance, whether that's create distance with a back strafe, create distance with increasing his energy state. So he increases his overall speed, which forces the fight to become much more linear, or he goes hard on his main thrusters to disengage. And it's the same process, rinse and repeat, right? I'm not over rolling. I'm not crossing the same line of fire that I originally started my turn with because that way he doesn't have to move his nose at all. He just has to time his shot. And that's definitely something that you have to watch out for until finally here after five, um, five times in a row where we were able to get a position where we were able to shoot at him and he was not able to shoot at us, we finally take the Vanguard down. But this goes to show how, how much more difficult it is to engage... Uh, a heavy fighter pilot who knows what they're doing because anytime you get a position where you think oh I can stay on him now he will be able to disengage from that position so you will only have that slot for a few seconds if you're lucky against someone who knows what they're doing but every second counts every second counts so you always want to keep fighting for it and if you stay too far at range you risk getting kind of shot down by the the fixed assist and, and the gimbals if he's running them so it's really not in your best interest to stay too far away because the Vanguard can close the distance. So if your energy state becomes too high, you have too much speed, it's too, it takes too long to slow that speed down. And in that time, he can gain the distance on you and let out a burst that will most likely kill you. So you definitely want to stay at a bit lower speeds with the light fighters, kind of dance in between their gun cone, dance over the spot you just flew over never cross the same line of fire again i'll make an illustration here there's something very important i forgot to tell you what don't cross the streams why so besides the universe ultimately exploding in the speed of light what you don't want to do is you don't want to cross your flight pattern or your streams of flight because what ends up happening is you're giving the opponent a free opportunity to hit you with almost no effort because likely they're going to be tracking you and if they're tracking you then as soon as you cross the same position that you had originally crossed before they're just going to time the shot take the shot and if they've got like an alpha weapon you know if they've got something like an area's ion all it's going to take is one hit and something like a vanguard can kill an arrow very quickly so be very careful to be cognizant and aware situationally of where your vector is pushing and where your flight path is actually taking you but that's it for today guys that's the end of the episode i just want to say thank you to everybody who comes out and supports uh, us here at the avenger stream uh come by the discord and come by the twitch channel and come fly with us uh, we stream almost every day so enjoy the the fun shenanigans um keep getting out there guys and keep putting in the time if you get shot down 10 times, get up 11. Just keep getting back in there and you'll get it. Keep playing, keep enjoying the process of developing yourself as a pilot and give yourself a goal to get 1% better every day. Compare yourself to where you were yesterday instead of who someone else is doing or how someone else is doing right now. Just look at what you're doing, how you can improve, and you'll see how far you come in a short amount of time. All right, guys, I was Avenger 1. Take a look at Predator mounts and use the code Avenger 1 for 5% off. It's the mounts I use, and I find them to be absolutely fantastic. If you've got sticks and you don't have mounts, trust me when I say it makes a big difference. Even if you've got sticks set up and stuff, I'm telling you, mounts make a huge difference. So it's definitely worth the investment. And these things will last a lifetime. All right, guys, hope to see you all up for stream. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.